And no, it wasn't my iPod. I'm going to jump straight into this video because I feel like it's going to be a long one, the gold aglet video. Now at the time of making this video, the sale is still on, so I'm going to talk about the sale at the start, and then after that, I'm going to talk about your best options after the sale. I'll leave a timestamp in the description and the comments so you can click on that and head to the part of the video where I'm not talking about the sale anymore. If you're watching after 11.45 a.m. British summer time on Wednesday the 22nd of July because that is when the sale ends. You haven't got a lot of time to buy those pairs for cheap. Now first up, I'm going to show you here the different values of gold aglet purchases. Now this only applies to the UK. I definitely recommend working out for yourself in your own currency. Now at the moment in the UK, the best value for purchasing gold aglet is for buying 1000 gold aglet. Now I know a lot of you will probably say, screw that, I'm not paying that much. Then I'd say your best option is to get 140, to be honest. But it all depends on personal preferences of what you wanna buy. Chances are most free to play players will skip this, but I feel like since I'm doing a channel about aglet, I need to include gold aglet. So I'm gonna give you three options for purchasing during the sale. A tier one pair, if you're lucky enough to have a tier one dead stock station, a tier two and a tier three. So first up during the sale, the best value you can get with gold aglet is the Air Max One Big Window. Now I must recommend you only use dead stock stations with your gold aglet shoes. You have to buy gold aglet sneaker shine to work with gold aglet shoes. And I just don't think it's worth spending extra money to repair your shoes. So my recommendation is to only buy gold aglet shoes that you have a dead stock station to repair. So during the sale, the Air Max One Big Window costs 419 gold aglet. And after the sale, it'll cost you 599 gold aglet. They only have two repairs, so it means you earn your aglet a lot faster. And the big windows should earn you just under 480,000 aglet. Now that is a lot of aglet, but you need that tier one dead stock station. Now the best tier two choice for gold aglet during the sale is the Air Max One Kid Robot. During the sale, this shoe will cost you 196 gold aglet. After the sale, it'll cost you 280 gold aglet. It has two repairs and after dead stocking, that shoe will get you just over 150,000 aglet. And if your dead stock station only goes up to tier three, I recommend getting the Air Max One Clark Kent. During the sale, this shoe costs 33 gold aglet. After the sale, it costs you 47 gold aglet and its dead stock profit will be about 27,000 aglet. Now, if you're here, it's probably because you wanna know what the best shoes to get are after the sale. So in regular time, during shop 3.0. And at tier one, we have the Shattered Backboard. The Shattered Backboard is a great return on investment and it's also a very high earner. If you have a tier one dead stock station and you can actually afford to splash out that much on the shoe, it'll cost you 519 gold aglet and your return will be over 580,000 aglet. Now the best value gold aglet tier two shoe is the Jordan 1 Bread 2001. Now the return on investment for the Jordan 1 Bread isn't as good as the Shattered Backboard, but if you don't have access to a tier one dead stock station, I definitely recommend going for this. The Jordan 1 Bread will cost you 365 gold aglet and your return on it will be just under 320,000 aglet. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money, another option is to go for the Kid Robot, like I said during the sale, but it will cost you full price at 280 gold aglet. Your return on the Kid Robot though, will be about 80,000 aglet less. Now, for those like me who only have a tier three dead stock station near them, I do recommend once again, the Clark Kent's. Now, if you do want a higher earn rate, I would say go for the Aglet 1 GA. Its return on investment isn't as good, but the higher earn rate may be worth it for you. Now, the new Jordan 1 Air Aglet is better value, but the fact that you have to dead stock it three times instead of two makes it not come on this list. With gold aglet shoes, I see them as a tool and you want to get the best value to earn as most aglet as fast as possible. I see them as a means of just getting the aglet I want to buy the regular aglet shoes. When trading ends up coming, I don't even know if we'll be able to trade gold aglet shoes. I'd imagine we will, but I'm not banking on it. So I'm wearing all mine right down. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if the sale's still on for you, good luck. I hope you get to cop. I'm really surprised the Dior's haven't sold out. I may buy another couple of pairs, but for now I'm off to edit this video. So I'll see you in a bit. Peace.